Attention entrepreneurs, this is a public service announcement. Tomorrow will be Thanksgiving, and then the day after that will be Christmas. In the blink of an eye, things are moving rarely quickly. That does not mean you slow down and you get lazy and you slack off. Keep the same intensity that you had at the beginning of the year until the end of the year. I conclude this message. Now enjoy the video. Sold out service, and you know we've been working. We serving, we earning. The watches, it's hurting. Big heart, but it started with Chris. Seen a lot when it comes to this biz. Don't serve, don't earn. They got a shift key to be a capitalist. Man, as most of you guys already know, man, I run a national insurance agency, right, from coast to coast. I got agents in Ohio. We're in New York. We're in. Florida, we're heavily saturated in the DMV area. And I was on the phone with one of my guys today. He's having distractions right now in business, guys. And one of the top distractions he's having is the holidays, right? Holidays. It's a holiday, not holidays, right? It's Thanksgiving days, Christmas days, New Year's day. The challenge is during this season for entrepreneur, you're distracted by everything out there, man, from the Black Friday shopping to Christmas lights, photos, all these things, hot chocolate under the tree, all that good stuff. Those are important things to, 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 to value. But the challenge is this. It's a holiday, and so most entrepreneurs get caught in this season. This is a season of separation. This is a season of separation. Man, if you're a business owner saying, hey man, how do I go into 2022 with momentum? It's taking advantage of these holiday, this holiday season and saying, okay, I will not be distracted by everything out there. I'm gonna have time for Christmas, Thanksgiving day, but more importantly, focus on my business and focus on having an explosive 2022. The second issue you have was time management on social media. More, more importantly, using social media for a platform for business. The challenge is this, he's an entrepreneur, right? He's using Instagram, using Facebook, LinkedIn to, to find clients, to find prospects, to market. We get so caught in the trap of just scrolling and liking, TikTok for hours, right? So if you're using, I told him, if you're gonna use business, use IG as a business platform, gotta be focused, man. When I see the IG symbol, I think money. I think business. I think ways to improve my platform not a tool to socialize on. The third issue was television, man. During the holiday season, we've got so many games on. You got Monday night football, Thursday night football, Sunday night football, you got Saturday afternoon football, right? And the challenge is this, guys. You all know me, I, I was a diehard, diehard Broncos fan at one point in my life. I would watch every single game. I would watch practice, man. I told my guys, say, hey man, if you're watching every game, if you're binge watching on Netflix, you're not gonna be able to focus on business, man. I don't even entertain some of the hottest shows. One of my buddies said, hey, Chris, man, are you gonna watch the new BMF series? BMF, if I watch one episode, I'm gonna binge watch all episodes, so I'm not gonna even try and do it. So that's a big focus for a lot of us here is how do you not get caught in the trap of watching too much TV during the holidays? And the last issue was procrastination. Something, something we always struggle with as entrepreneurs, right? Why come to the office early? Why put the extra hour in? Why work 60 hours a week? Why come on a rainy day? Because if you're not clear your why, if you're not clear your purpose in, in life and in business, procrastination will get the best of you. So my coach in the hill was this, man. Get clear your purpose. Why are you doing this? Why do you want to make money? Why do you want to build a business? Once you get clear on your why and your purpose, man, procrastination is eradicated.